All right, so we have a little bit more work to do here, of course, but the torso is coming along pretty well. Uh, and once we have these major loops in place, defining the rest of the body is going to be very, very easy from this. Well, the next forms we have to work with here uh, are I want to be able to continue my crease line around the legs, and then we're going to build in a trapezius for the back. Uh, I want to take my lower division here on the leg, uh, and again, we're going to work with the same sort of form as before. I'll hit extrude, grab the move tool, uh, and I'm working to make sure that I keep my uh, divisions and vertices just outside of my template. Now, I often say that if you do the lower torso right, it starts to look a little bit like a thong, where we have a dip through the center, and it becomes really, really thin and small towards the back. We're going to produce the, the buttocks essentially with the legs, so we're going to separate those out here with an edge loop. And I'm going to get the append polygon tool and just jump straight across now to complete this section up pretty quickly. But we're going to make one edge loop here in just a second, and that's going to kind of finalize this. I also often say that if you've done the upper torso correctly, it should feel like a muscle shirt where we've got the uh, shoulders sort of exposed free. Uh, now, with what we're establishing here, again, I want to hide my template, and I'm going to choose the Select, Select Border Edge tool one more time. Double click on this lower border edge, which will select the whole loop of edges at once, and hit Extrude. Once I've done that, I'm going to turn back on my template, and I'll hit W for the Move tool, and I'm going to move this down just a little bit, and maybe even out to the side. And my next process here is going to be just taking all of these vertices that I just established, and again, fitting them to the form. But this time, we have our own edge loop to do it in. Make sure you're checking your lower views from the bottom up uh, and your views from the top down as well, because they can always be extremely useful in terms of establishing and seeing the form that you're working with. In this case, I want to make sure I'm manipulating these vertices back a little bit more. Again, this may mean that my model comes through, the template comes through, but I'm okay with that if it pokes through just a little bit. And here's a top-down view that starts to allow us to see what's going on. Again, we're just trying to keep this outside of the model. Sometimes it can be really hard to see what vertices you're trying to select. So, again, you can always turn off your template to deal with it that way. I'm just going to guess a little bit on some of these. I think that's also going to be okay. And there we go. Completed edge loop for the lower section of the abdomen. And we have the characteristic V shape that we're looking for, readily identifiable here. Let's go to normals and soften my edge. And let's hide the template again to see where we're at. Looking pretty good. The last major shape that we have to establish before it's then just filling in some of these gaps to finish up the torso we got to put in a trapezius, which is the sort of kite-shaped back muscle that dominates the back half of the body. Well, I'm going to do some filling in here. I'm going to go to Edit Mesh and use the Append Polygon tool and fill this in a little bit first. You'll notice if some of your divisions mismatch, you might want to actually come in with the Split Polygon tool and cut this up if you have the polygon count to do so which I think we still do at this point. 
we're still working pretty low. And I will use the append polygon tool to bridge my way across this model. And here we go. Everything's working pretty well. We might have one more division down there when we're done, but we'll leave that as is for right now. But what I want to do next is that I'm going to try and take the vertices that are aligned across the back and shift them out to the side a little bit. This will allow me to make some room for my trapezius. And it's also going to push some vertices into place here to allow me to really start to get a dip happening just right through the center. So help me define my scapula just a little bit more. Pulling each one of these up and around. There we go. Now to push this further, I'm going to get the split polygon tool. And I'm going to cut downwards through the model. And around the mid back, we're going to come in and finalize this up in one little division. This is also going to be helpful. Uh, because if the model stretches forward or from side to side, it's going to help contain some of that stretching. It's also going to be a way to eliminate some of the vertices that might be coming over from the front, as I had mentioned. And then just as before, I'll take my triangle and split this from corner to edge to really break up the selection. And pull it out just a little bit at the bottom so it becomes more rounded. And I now have the extra division I need to really start to sculpt a shelf around that scapula. And I didn't really have enough vertices in place before this to actually do any damage there. Let's pull these up a bit on the neck. And I think that'll do it right about there. So we can see this a little bit better. Let's go to normals, soften edge. And again, I'll delete my history. And let's turn off that template. And again, I think we've got a really nice looking torso. We're going to finish up some of these gaps in the next video.